Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Urban Explorer. I know we've covered this wall, uh, camera before, but you know, it's been a minute. And, uh, you know, I just passed by here. It looks like they're starting to work on it. I did mention on the very first video I did about it, they were going to convert it into like a Tony's and shit. Uh, you know, kind of just walk through without getting myself into shit with these guys. I'm sure they don't mind. Um, you know, if I happen to come across one of these dudes who's working on the building, I'll, I'll ask him and shit if, you know, they'd be cool with me going in. Actually, Let me get a wide shot of this. Cause y'all, you guys can't really see them cause I'm not close yet. But it is pretty overgrown here, man. We've had a significant amount of rain in like, maybe the last week or so. doesn't look all terrible because I had, I had to go back to my truck grab a mask just in case just in case they uh see us filming but like you know on that off chance this probably won't happen but you know on that off chance they're like hey if you just want to come in for a few minutes to film while we do this or something like that I mean I, even if it's in a doorway that'd be fun and cool you know but you know, give one last look before they do what they're gonna do eventually. I don't even know what they're gonna do, to be honest with you. I don't know if the building's coming down. I don't know if they're just working on that period inside and then they're just gonna do what they're gonna do on the outside. But uh, yeah, it's been, it's probably been quite, few, uh, quite a few months since I've filmed this last. Uh, it, man, look at this. That's a lot. That's a shit ton of structural damage. Uh, but man, it, it just, again, like I said in the last video, this store has been here for probably two decades. Maybe less. I don't know, actually. I don't. But it's been sitting here abandoned since 2017. And I came when it was first about to close I was you know looking around I wish I was filming and doing the series back then I was even had homeless people that were here at one point man look at these weeds overgrown broken beer bottle tip so, some of these homeless people man they just leave their, their stuff everywhere and don't really care too much about, well, the city, I guess, doesn't really care too much about picking it up and throwing it away. So, man, one of these people had a waffle maker. <laughs> I've never seen, I've done a lot of bu buildings, dude, and I've never seen a waffle maker. That's a first. I think that's kind of funny. Because it begs the question, how were they even using a, a waffle maker, you know? I was not able to peek through that window because the last time we couldn't even see. There wasn't much to see. Wow, look at this. How these are pieces of the. Well, I'm assuming these are pieces of the building that we just seen that are broken. But look at this. All oh, a lot of structural damage and you, know, you got weeds everywhere. But man, this is this is just an update video, man. I know, as I know, I already filmed this, and I think I might hop over to the old Boston Market. I might film that. I don't know if they ever made anything there. I know they were supposed to, or maybe that's what I heard. But uh, man, you, you can see. You know, pretty much what's left of this 
building. But again, that's that's what happens with some of these places, man. They they get abandoned and then you know. The city just doesn't take care of it because nobody, I guess for lack of a better word, nobody, or for lack of a better phrase, nobody takes care of the property. I guess Sears Holding Company must not own it anymore. I know for the longest time they owned it because the electricity was on. But as you guys know, that last time I came and, you know, filmed the property, the lights were off inside and it's just, Cause even at night the parking lot was really well lit and there wasn't too many people in at night the, the eventually the lights were off and you know there was, there was nobody you know everybody was parking in here one night and so i did cover the windows i think for the most part you know, yes, you can kind of see a little bit that to do a little bit of work, but man, I gotta think it's insane, man. I, this place is supposed to be made into a Tony's. Now, I don't really have much information on how they, I'm not in a construction business, so I don't know per se how they do it or if they just get, I, I would have to imagine they did like in, uh, if you're familiar with the area of playing field where I filmed before, I think I think I filmed something like that way, but if not, I'm something I do I am gonna film. Good. But uh there's a Mariano's or not, I'm sorry, Tony's up that way and that used to be uh Dominic's I think. And obviously they converted that inside. All these overgrown weeds. So I imagine that's what they're gonna do here. Now I feel like the space for Kmart's a little small though. So yeah, I'm not even I'm not even 100 percent sure what's really gonna happen here. But again, we're just documenting the building, seeing memories before it becomes a full-fledged Tony's. Um, the Atlanta City, well, we really kept up with the property, man. Obviously, oh shit, there it is. Obviously, I'm not gonna go in there because for obvious reasons, but this is not, like this is the last time I was here. I'm gonna, the uh, prison yard, as everyone calls it, the garden center. You know, one has to assume the homeless people were sleeping in there. I don't know. But uh, there's a lot, there's a lot in here I never got to film. One of the last times I came, or one of the first times I ever filmed this building, which was earlier in the year, because it was super cold right now. We're in the middle of June, nice and warm. I don't have to rush to try to get warm. Look at all this garbage. Let's see if we can get out. You know, the interesting thing was this Kmart was never not busy. To be honest with you, I never saw a time where they weren't busy or they didn't have customers. But I guess, you know, I guess the company just made a lot of bad investments. They didn't want to get with the times. Same with Sears. I 
because that door was locked. But I mean, before they started working on it, part of me wishes there was a way to get into the store. Like months ago, where I could have just explored inside. <clears throat> Again, I've talked about this. If that opportunity does come up, I'm never going to take anything because that's not, I don't encourage it. I'm simply documenting and, you know, stuff like that. Hey, it different looks like a prison yard with all the weeds, though. But again, like I said, filming these places, I'm simply here to document and, you know, you know, just get memories and stuff like that. We got workers over here, so I'm just gonna go as far as I can around the building. Um, what, you know, weirdly enough, for as long as this building sat here, unattended, there was only a little bit of black mold. There was only a little bit of black mold at the time. Which is kind of insane to me, man, because I've gone to places where did I filmed and they had completely black mold even on the outside, and that was you know, kind of crazy. But again, you see this has got a little bit of structural damage. It just looks like it's just paint. But that's what happens when a building's sitting here for so long. Everybody knows that. I think my five-year-old nephew probably would know that. But you know what they say. But again, man, I don't know, this shit's crazy. But it's good to see it's finally getting made into something. And I just get to stay here for like another five years like it's been. So I guess there's always an upside. But again, like I said, guys, I'm just going to go as far as I can. And then if I'm told to leave, I'll to leave. If not, I'll keep filming the outside. So obviously, I can say you can't film the inside. Because I guess that's self-explanatory. Pretty dusty, man. But yeah, man. It, I, I, I honestly didn't think, guys, they were gonna convert this to like probably next year. To be honest with you, but from right here, I'm gonna try to zoom in. If you guys sound love this, they show up on camera. Probably not. But they're really going to work, dude. That's what I'd like to see, though. What I'm looking at right now, I'm assuming it was the back room. At one point, there's storage or not storage or what do you call it? Inventory. They kept like clothes, TVs at one point, mattresses, refrigerators. They sold everything here at one point. I think everybody knows that. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get all I can get from right here. I'm not going to go up close and have them yell at me for obvious reasons. But this right here, which you guys are looking at, this would be the back entrance for like vendors. I'm sorry, you know, people who bring the product and stuff like that. Obviously, they'd go through this store, all this. I, If you guys ever watch an abandoned cam, I read it from any other YouTuber. You already know this is the... Uh, I don't know why I'm tripping over my words today. This is the uh, storage area, the back room, if you want to call it that. And obviously, there are these doors. I want to assume that's the whole inside of the store, which you guys have seen on video through the window. You guys have seen that. So that's what that is. I know you guys probably have questions, but again, man, I, I think this is pretty cool. It's getting made into the Tonys. What's going on? 
What's going on, man? How you doing? Not much. Just filming, man. I filmed here not too long ago, and uh, I saw you guys working, so I'm like, I guess they're really gonna convert it. So I'm gonna get some footage and try to update people. Okay. Yeah, just don't go inside the building. Yeah, no, that's good. That's why I said I'll try to zoom in as much as I can. All good. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, just be careful with the nails and shit around here. Appreciate you, dude. This is an ISO also. Yeah, probably a lot of this isn't gonna show on camera though. So we got the, the back door open, another storage area, I gotta assume. I'm gonna watch myself, they got nails everywhere. Look at that, this is old. Oh, this is actually interesting because this is the old Chuck E. Cheese right here. So anybody from the area remembers Chuck E. Cheese. This is where they were at one point in, in the 90s. I'm actually going to go do research and see when the Chuck E. Cheese closed and moved over by I-55 there. So I can add this in the description. Again, I'm probably not even going to add any of this. I'm going to leave it raw as it is because that's some interesting artwork though. Yeah, man, this is this is gonna become Tony's and Joliet. It probably won't open till like next year, though. That's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking is sometime next year they'll go open it and stuff like that. Maybe by December or something. Man. Let me see. Yeah, see if I had, if I had the little camera holder with the light, I know them lights are pretty strong. I had one of those, I could probably just zoom in from here and then, you know, see inside the way it is, but making what I can, what I can man. But yeah. Yeah, you know, it'll be good, man. I'll, I'll film this every chance I get. The uh, progress, if you want to call it that. And over here, we got the other side. But yeah, in reality, I don't know when Chuck E. Cheese closed over here. A hell of a building yeah but like the guy said he doesn't want to they don't want people in the building i'm not gonna defy them you guys heard me i'm gonna get as close as i can without going in zoom in as much as i can obviously again this door right here i want to i want to film this right here and talk about it a little bit so back in the day, you had Chuck E. Cheese right here, which it looked like they knocked the wall down where Chuck E. Cheese used to be, which is interesting to me. Cause I know whew, right here in this, on this part where I'm filming, around the corner is the entrance where Chuck E. Cheese used to be. Obviously this is, from what I'm looking at, that's, those are the doors of Kmart. Let's see. You guys see that right there? I know it's probably hard to see, but I'm trying to extend my arms as far as I can to get that. Those are the main doors going to the Kmart. You would go in there, you'd have the store. Cash is just right by the doors. You'd have all that. But this little area right in here, which I can't really see, where all this dust you can't see and the doors open. This was this was the Chuck E. Cheese side. Uh, I, I think this Chuck E. Cheese probably closing like I'm I'm gonna put a time frame between '97 and 2000 because I don't know for sure when it closed. So that's just my time frame. But I think I think that's pretty cool. I mean, 
you know, people have been wanting to see it for years, and this is the best I'm gonna have to do for you guys. Honestly, I'm trying to film as good as I can. I don't wanna, I don't wanna get these guys mad and none of that, you know, it's not worth it. But uh, yeah. As it is, we're gonna head across the street and uh, film the old checkers. It's interesting to me because I think, I would think they're just gonna use the uh, Kmart side, not the Chuck E. Cheese side. I, that dude didn't seem like he knows much about it. He's probably just working in construction. Yeah, you can't really see much in these windows. Let me see. Yeah, no, that's not even showing up on camera. I apologize about that. Honestly, this, I don't know if this was here the last time I filmed, but <clears throat> again, there's one, little, one last look at the Kmart before it becomes Tony's in a couple months. Uh, I mentioned him before the, the YouTube channel, and I don't know, guy, I, he didn't ask me to do it. I'm just shouting him out. The Mallholic. I think he covered this probably before I did, but uh, I, could, I, I have a feeling he's going to come up here too and give you guys a better video than I can. Maybe he'll have better luck I'm trying to film the inside a little closer than I was, uh, which he does. I look forward to that. You know, that'd be cool. But yeah, they, oh, this is new. 24 hour surveillance, they didn't have that before, but yeah, they pretty much taped this shit up. There is no... I'm gonna do this. I think it's the best we can do. You guys can see that. That's as best as I can do. I'm not gonna show that. That's not, that's a demonetization type thing right there. But yeah, one last, one last look, man, for, this is gonna be a long project for him, but we'll check in every now and then. But until next time, like, subscribe, comment, suggest other places that are abandoned. Thank you for coming to Bandit Explorer. We'll see you next video.